Hi everybody, welcome to Storytime with Fairfield County Library. My name is Miss Nina and I am so excited for Storytime today. Are you guys ready? Okay, this week our theme is summer. That means this week we are going to be a team up that are all about hot weather and ice cream and going to the beach. Alright, our first book is Saffron Ice Cream by Rasheen Carrier and published by Author A. Levine Books. And this is my first trip to the beach. Oh no, I'm just any beach. I mean to an American beach in Brooklyn. That's where I live now. to drive to the Caspian Sea to swim. Very early in the morning, my mom would mix together wheat, turkey, sugar, and cinnamon to make halim for breakfast. Then we would pack into my dad's old car and head toward a very green and beautiful part of Pine Island called Tremont. We drive for about five hours, listening to Persian music on the radio and stopping to eat a fancy lunch in the forest along the way. Sometimes I took along my friend, Azadeh, and we'd share a kebab. The beach in Brooklyn is called Coney Island. We're getting there by subway train, which is filled with all sorts of people and also has music, but no hazard. I run, the Caspian Sea looks endless, blue, and beautiful. How will the sea look in Brooklyn? some parts of the Caspian Sea that are beach walls, so I knew what was allowed. In that part of the beach, big long curtains divided the seat into two sections, one side for men to swim in and one side for women. My dad and my brother would go to the male section, my mom and I would go to the female section. Which is the exciting part of the beach. It's like a big party. Women take off their covers and get a tan. Everyone was female there. Me, Azadeh, our moms, even the ice cream shop. One day, I was swimming along with Azadeh and suddenly I noticed some little holes in the I saw eyes blinking behind them. Suddenly, Azadeh saw them too and screamed, Boys! 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 Three little boys who had climbed onto each other's shoulders fell down into the water. Splash! Then the other women joined in, shouting and jumping out of the water and covering themselves with towels, newspapers, and umbrellas. The Islamic beach guards ran to fix the holes in the curtain. It was chaos, but it was fun. We'll be fun in Brooklyn. Get off the Q 
barbecue train at Ocean Parkway. It's a fun chaos too, though I don't know anybody. Families of all colors stream from the red brick apartment building. Sidewalk vibrates with music and kids chase each other. Welcome to Coney Island. Walk from the beach, my mother points to a truck with a window in it and a small line of kids jumping up and down. Look, she says my mother, an ice cream shop, just like back home. Well, not just like, I think. I waited in that line, hoping, hoping they will have the delicious saffron as Dan and I used to love so much. Sorry, sweetheart, says the lady in the truck window. No saffron. Would you like something else? I can't help it. I start to cry. I miss the Caspian Sea. I miss Asdale. I miss everything. Hey, kid. Try chocolate crunch, that's my favorite, says a sweet-faced girl with brown skin and a bright orange shirt. She is smiling, but I smile too and feel a little better. Turns out, chocolate crunch is a pretty good flavor too. I can't wait to write and tell Asadil about it. First, we get to the beach, and my family spreads out blankets all together, men and women. The beach is so wide, it covered with umbrellas and blankets and people. But there, not so far, is the girl I met at the ice cream truck, and she waves at me. Question, she says. My dad says I have to stay with me and the lifeguard can see us and to not go too far out. Another important rule is to have fun, fun, fun. I'm sure there are other beach rules to learn, but that seems like a good place to start. That was saffron ice cream. What did you guys think? What are some good rules you know when you go swimming or go to the beach? What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? All right, our next book is And Then Comes Summer by Tom Brenner, illustrated by Jamie Kim, and published by Candlewick Press. When the days stretch out like a slow yarn, and leaves and grasses sparkle with dew, and the cheerful faces of the Johnny Jump Bucks jump up. Then, throw on flip flops and breathe the sweet air. When bumblebee and umbel are round in flower, and warblers flit from tree to tree, and the air thrums with the sound of lawn mowers.
Then, pump up your bike tires, dig out your helmet, and raise your seat. My, how you've grown. When the last class project is finished, and the cubby is cleaned of cookie crumbs and eraser bits, and end of the year hugs have been given out, Then swap out backpacks and notebooks for pitchers and cups. When daylight pushes back bedtimes and crickets crick crick in the evening air and bugs as big as thumbs bang against windows, then play hide and seek until darkness reigns. When stores unfurl, stars and stripes, and flags wave from porches and cars, and the whole town seems wrapped in bunting, then dress up your bike and pedal to the parade. When bands march by, left, right, left, right, and all manner of floats float past, and scouts and pioneers toss candy. Then grab your blanket and watch the night explode in colorful spray. When every day is like a Saturday, when porches and lawns and sidewalks are playgrounds, and a familiar jingle interrupts the game, then race to be the first in line. Almond fudge, please! When the dog days of summer roll around, and it's so hot you're practically panting, and not even the sprinklers can provide relief, then it's time to head to the lake. Roll down the window and smell the hot, dry grass. Shout your favorite songs at birds sweeping across fields and ask for the millionth time, are we there yet? When the familiar sun appears at last and the silver lake winks through the trees and old friends run to greet you, Scramble out of the car, dash down to the beach, and swim till the sun is low and your lips are blue. And when dinner is over and stories have been told, and your fingers are sticky with marshmallow and chocolate, and the fire burns down to a glimmering coal, Then snuggle into your sleeping bag and plan tomorrow's adventure. Okay, and that was And Then Comes Summer. What'd you guys think? What's your favorite thing to do in the summer? All right, everybody, thank you for coming to story time. Now, just because we're done reading does not mean we have to be done with story time. If you come down to the library this week, you can pick up a story time kit, which are these fun-filled activity kits that we made to go with the books you read today. 
Each kit comes with a coloring sheet, a craft, and a tasty recipe that you can make with your grown-ups. Okay, this week our craft is this guy, a cardboard sandcastle. To get a kit, you need to come to the Fairfield County Library and look for some crates in the children's section. Now, we have two crates, one for Mondays and one for Wednesdays you will attend. So, you want to make sure you get the right kits or you can easily complain when you leave and get under what I just showed you. The kits for this story time are the Wednesday ones, they're in the group B crate, and they're the blue one. New kits come out whenever there's a new story time, but we might have some kits left from last week if you're lucky. It never hurts to ask. Okay, everybody, thank you for joining me for story time. Once again, my name is Miss Nina, and I hope to see you in the library this week if you have a story time kit. It's time to say goodbye, but I look forward to seeing you all next time. Bye!